It's now official, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 will get officially unveiled on August 2nd. Make no mistake, Samsung is moving the announcement of the Galaxy Note 7 a month earlier than usually to gain a competitive advantage over Apple's iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, two phones that usually take most of the tech media attention in September. However, a month before the unveiling of the Galaxy Note 7 and two months before Apple shows us its new iPhones, we already know a lot about their specs, features, design and performance. It's time to take a look at all these rumors and paint an early picture of what to expect of the biggest phone battle of late 2016, the Galaxy Note 7 vs the Apple iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Design If it's not broken, don't fix it. That seems to be the formula of all successful companies and products. In fact, Big changes to the popular products often corrupt their status with users. That's why it's no surprise that the Galaxy Note 7 keeps the familiar design that it started with the Galaxy S6 and S6H nearly a year and a half ago. Apple is also not bringing any major changes to the design. It launched with the iPhone 6. It's largely the same thin metal phone with rounded edges. There are some minor alterations though. The antenna bands are more discreet and camera module has a different design that is not that big redesign that Apple traditionally unveils every two years or so. In fact, the latest rumors even say that the company will reflect this in the name of the phone. It could turn out to be an Apple iPhone 6SE rather than the iPhone 7 altogether. Performance It's clearly the battle between 810 chip versus Snapdragon 821. The Note 7 and the iPhone 7 family are expected to bring heaps of improvements under the hood. The Galaxy Note 7 is expected to run on Snapdragon 8 to 1 in the United States, while in all other places, Samsung is likely to use its own Zynos 8893 system chip. We saw the same state of chips in the S7 series, where various states confirmed that Zynos version performed a bit better and lasted a bit longer. The iPhone 7, on the other hand, should debut the new Apple A10 system chip, developed in-house by Apple. The A series of chips have long held the leading position when it comes to single core performance with the large footprint of individual cores. Recently, however, we have seen the new Cairo core in the Snapdragon 820 as well as the Zyno CPU cores catch up. So, I am so curious to see whether Apple will be able to pull ahead this year. Interface The Note 7 and the iPhone 7 family will both come with familiar but improved and slightly polished interfaces. In the Note 7, we will see the debut of new version of TouchWiz, unofficially referred to as the Grass UX. Its main highlight is simpler icons and redesigned notification drop-down, where you no longer have a horizontally scrolling list of toggles, but a nice full panel. Apple's iPhone 7 family, on its part, is set to be launch platform for iOS 10, one of the bigger iOS remakes recently. While icons on the iOS 10 remains mostly unchanged, Apple has changed some core fundamentals. You no longer unlock iOS 10 based iPhones with a swipe, and lock screen widgets take a more prominent place on your lock screen and separate home screen panel. Also, there is a new quick start camera shortcut. Rather than swiping upon the tiny camera icon from the lock screen, you now swipe left from the lock screen to go directly in the camera. After what seemed like an endless megapixel race, it seems that more and more consumers these days understand that more pixels don't necessarily mean better quality. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and Apple iPhone 7 neither will come with the most pixel dense sensors out there, but still expectations are that they will continue to be seen as two of the very best camera phones out there. Both are expected to have 12 megapixels cameras. Samsung's up the ant with its dual pixel autofocus technology. They made the phone the fastest camera out there, fastest to the start and fastest to the focus. While Apple still uses the common face detection focus technology, which is slower. However, the iPhone 7 Plus model, Apple is expected to introduce something different, a dual camera setup that should allow you to control the depth of the background and a 8 ton of interesting conceptual photography options. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you do enjoy it, feel free to thumbs up and make sure to smash that red button.